Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray and today we're doing another smartphone camera comparison with the iPhone 15 Pro Max and comparing that to the Galaxy S23 Ultra which I'm using to record right now. As I do in all of my smartphone camera comparisons, everything that you see in this video is recorded on these two devices. So make sure you keep an eye on the bottom of the screen to see which device and which cameras from that device are being used for the photos and videos that you see. With that, let's take a look at some side-by-side -side comparisons between these two devices to see how they stack up in everyday use. Let's take a look. look at video capture from the selfie cameras on both of these devices again both of these can capture 4k video at 60 fps from all of these cameras which is incredibly good but i think the iphone does have a little bit of an advantage here but if you want to see a more fair comparison i'm going to flip things out around to that main camera on the back and here we go this is a look at the rear cameras main sensors on the back of both of these devices if you can frame yourself just right i always recommend using this for capturing video of yourself just because the quality is just going to be that much better especially in low light conditions which i'm going to show you later on Thank you. 
look at video capture from the selfie cameras on both of these devices. I do think Apple really does have the advantage here. Samsung does have a really good selfie camera on the S22, S23 Ultra, but honestly, Apple always seems to come out ahead in these situations. But of course, as I always recommend, if you flip things over to that main camera in situations like this, you're always gonna get much better results. Take a look. And here we go. This is a look at the main sensor on the back of the S23 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, the lighting should be a lot better than what it was with that selfie camera, but you'll also notice that you have better stabilization and a shallower depth of field. So if you don't mind staring at the back of the phone while recording video, this is going to be the best way possible to capture great video in low light conditions. That's gonna do it for this camera comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let me know what you think of the results in the comments below and which device you'd rather use on a day-to-day -day basis for capturing your photos and videos. I do have a handful of other camera comparisons coming up with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.